Hi, Chow. Hi, Stacy. I'm going to post the link to my new live, and I hope that folks will follow because I wasn't about to do a live in the wrong direction. Hi, Kim. Hi, Nancy. Let me just post this to our FSC group and let me not be so close to the phone. <laughs> you don't need to see the pores on my nose, right? <laughs> oh, extreme close up. <laughs> All right, let's go to FSC and post the link to this corrected version of the live. Yeah. Hi, Jonna. Hi, Suzanne. Okay, let's get yourself a new link here. Oh, it looks like Chow beat me to it. Wow, Chow, you are fast. You're fast at everything, Chow. I bet you're hoping you're fast when you deliver your baby, right? Fast. <laughs> hi, Meg. Hi, Carmen. Um, let's see. Who did I miss? Uh, she is so fast. Thank you. All right, hold on, please. Just one moment, please. my Facebook page. I need to fix the link there, too. Okay, this is the correct link. Posting it right now. Hi, Carol. Hi, Jerry. Live now. We are live now. All right. Hi, T. Hi, Donna. I'm looking at, I'm, I'm reading everything without my glasses, so if you see me putting my nose up. It's not because I'm a foiling snob. It's because I can't see without my glasses. Because <laughs> I'm getting old. Alright. We have 18 people watching. Let's get that number up, up, up. Please do me a favor and share this with your friends in the FSC. Let them know I am live. I really want to not only talk a little bit about my haul from the stamp show. Hi Pam, but also I want to show you a little bit of what Nancy did for me this weekend when she was visiting me in Somerset, Pennsylvania. So for those of you who don't know, Nancy came and visited me over the weekend. Um, she came out to my neck of the woods. Nancy lives in eastern Pennsylvania. I live in western Pennsylvania and she came out to visit me on Friday and it was raining and she and Leah got to visit the zoo first, the Pittsburgh Zoo, which is a wonderful zoo. But it was raining, unfortunately, so they got caught in some rain. So then they came over to my house Friday and um, they were here till about 1130, helping me just get everything in my craft room to a better place. Uh, because those of you who know a little bit about me, I have a lot of craft supplies that when my sister passed away, they became mine. And, oh, hi, Mary. I am so sorry I didn't get to see you. I would have loved to have met you, Mary. Maybe next time, okay? <laughs> yes, Kim, I can find everything. Because, really, she didn't do that much moving things around. Um, it was just a matter of consolidating things. Because um, things were kind of spread out a little bit and not all in one place. And, hi, Annie. Well, I'm so glad you're getting back into crafting. It's so much fun. You make such great friends, right, everybody? And, yes, happy retirement. <laughs> 
And she also helped me do something that I had never done yet. Remember, I knew nothing about crafting with cards and card making. I mean, I did crafts, but I never got into the world of card making. So I really didn't understand about inks and dyes and stamps and the difference between a photopolymer stamp and a rubber stamp. I didn't understand what an alcohol marker was or anything like that. So I have ink from when she passed, but I've also purchased some ink on my own, but I've never um, put the little dot on the side of the ink. I know it sounds really very minor, but um, definitely for me, it was a big, big help. So without further ado, a surprise little sneak peek at what Nancy helped me do. Hi, Abraham. How, what Nancy helped me do in my craft room. All right, so this is the desk. You're looking at my desk, right? So my desk for crafting and my desk for working, all right? And I have this pegboard system from Ikea, which Nancy did help me to organize this a little bit better. Um, I had most of my shimmering, I had all my shimmering bliss sprays up on my Ikea shelves but she put them at the same level, which makes common sense. And then she put all my Nuvo drops, which I had some here, some there, and then my other like um, glitter glue, whatever. Um, yeah, so that was helpful. But this is what was really amazing, guys. I had purchased several ink block, not ink block, but um, ink pad storage systems from stamp and storage and I had them just not placed right you know for the flow the, you want to have a good flow in your craft room so starting at this end of the counter we have this is a haul this is a different haul I have to do a haul these are some things that I picked up that I want to do a haul video on and then I have my Gemini Junior and then I have my Brother Scan and Cut, which actually tucks away in that corner when I'm not using it, all right, beside this little shelf that I had purchased, you know, before. But here we have all of these Distress Oxide inks um, stored in this stamp and storage system. And Nancy and Leah helped me put the little color coding on them all right so this little dot right here this is from a swatch okay so this color is wilted violet oh I love my scan and cut that's something I purchased on my own that wasn't something that my sister had she had a Sizzix uh, big kick and then we put the VersaFine Claire inks also in there I know Jerry isn't it cool for those of you that are like the type of people that appreciate organization, this will definitely show you. But for me, it was a great help because this is my sweet note from Meg, which I'll always cherish. Okay, and then I have my um, alcohol ink markers up here. And I'll just have to get them down because they were on my desk previously, but... I certainly don't color every single day, but when I am working on projects that I color with, I'll definitely pull those off the shelf. They're kind of heavy, so I'll probably get my son Jacob to help and just pull them down and just have them, you know, on my craft space because I had them vertical before. Now they're horizontal. Okay, so, yep, there's Meg's card up there. All right, so I had already organized the Stampin' Up containers on my top shelf. And then over here, I just have a, well, I have my um, scrapbook.com tower. And I have various different types of things that I use for making my cards on that tower. But um, Nancy helped me get my Distress sprays and my distress spray stains organized so we have those in there and then we put some paper there 
Don't mind this keyboard, it's for work. And then my Distress inks, which I don't have that many on. I don't plan on getting any more. These were all my sisters. This was before the Distress Oxides came out. So I put all my Distress inks. She put all my Distress inks in there. So that was a great help. And then under here is oh, foiling. And so we have foiling, laminator um, type of materials. Yep. Also on here I have this like paper holder, but behind it is my mink and my Gemini foil press. So that is ready to go whenever I need it. But on the top shelf underneath here, that's all pattern paper. So I have lots of pattern paper that I need to use. And that was helpful to get all that organized. So Nancy helped me with that. Okay, hold on one second. I knocked my computer over. Don't want to mess up the work equipment, guys. So it pays the bills. Now these wooden stamps, these were all my sisters. Um, so I have, she put them in the drawer for me. Um, I have a couple more, but these were the ones that were hers. So I just can't yet part with those. Although my girlfriend gave me these. So some of them were gifted to me. Okay, so go ahead and then shut that drawer. And then over here under the scan and cut is the scan and cut like mats and tools and like a spatula, you know, to get just basically, okay, this is where we want our scan and cut stuff to be. So that's where that is. I have some more alcohol markers there. And then in here we have um, some other supplies that I will be using. These are all my cutting plates for the Sizzix machine. Some um, Derwent pencils are in here. My um, various stamping tools and things like that that I use. Like, not the Misty, but the other brand, the other ones. And I use clipboards sometimes. And so that was nice. That was fantastic. Um, I really appreciate that she helped me with that. So thank you so much, Nancy, for just um, being willing to help me get better organized. Um, I know it's not a full craft room tour, but it is a, 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 like a glimpse into some of the things that she helped me with. And so that was fantastic, obviously. Um, I didn't want to like put her to work, you know. <laughs> I wanted her to have some fun while she was here too. So on the second day um, was my family reunion, which was Saturday, and she and Leah got to come to my family reunion with me and meet some of my family members on my dad's sides. Hi, Suzette. I didn't see you there. Hi, Sharon. Um, yeah, so cool. And then she got to go to the stamp show on Saturday without me. I, I stayed at my family reunion and got to hang out with my family a little bit. Um, when she got back on Saturday, she came back over here. And that's when we did this watching and put the um, uh, little dots on the oxides. And Chow sent me this Distress Oxide um, swatch page. And I was able to swatch my Distress Oxides, all right? So that was great. I appreciate that, really. Um, hanging out and, you know, just talking about crafting and talking about life. And we would put Chow and Stacy on, talk to those guys a little bit, you know. Um, so we were all together, a little bit together this weekend. Yep. And then on Sunday, we went to church together uh, at my church. And uh, Leah, her daughter, got baptized, which was very, very special, which I loved that. 
Um, and then we went down to the stamp show, which brings me to this moment where I get to share with you some of the cool things that I got. You can tell I'm excited, right? And um, this is the second time that I went to the stamp show. The first time I went to the stamp show all by myself, you know, I was just new to stamping and I think I bought things that I didn't really need. I think I went to like every single booth and bought something because I was like all, you know, eyes as big as saucers. But this time I went with a list of what I wanted to get and what I needed to get. And then of course I picked up some goodies along the way. All right. So let's get started. If you didn't get a chance, Nancy did a live today on her channel, Nancy Stamps, where she um, talked about what she got, you know, during the haul. So I definitely want to encourage you to check that out. Yay, Nancy, you're awesome. Thank you so much for coming to see me and for helping me get organized and for helping me find my way around the craft show. <laughs> she she was my scout. She went ahead of me, scouted everything out, and helped me save time that we got there on Sunday. It was over early on Sunday. It was from 10 to 5 on Saturday, but it was only till 3 on Sunday. Yeah, so I mean, I had to really rush through there to find the um, things that I needed, but along the way, I met some new people and some new companies um, learned about and hopefully some new friends that we will see again in the future. So here we go. All right. All right. So the first booth that we visited was called Tesla's. And they're based out of California, I believe. Hi, Gloria. That's right, Abraham. She pulls us all together. Let's see. Teslers. Yes. It's T E S S L E R. Tesler Crafts. Okay. And they're based out of California. And when I came to this stamp show before, they were there then. Well, I'm so excited because I got a whole bunch of Copic markers that I didn't have. Um, and the colors that I got are mostly purples and like aqua and grays and some beiges. They had a special that... Hi, Cheryl Jackson from British Columbia, Canada. Nice to see you. Um, well, well, Tracy um, T, not afraid of color. I had been saving up for this, right? So, yeah. I knew that I was basically like refraining from other things so that I could, <laughs> so that I could have some money to spend and not feel like remorseful. Like the first time I went, I mean, I bought things and then I brought them home. I'm like, why did I even buy this? Not to say that they weren't great because they were great products, but they just weren't me. I mean, I don't know. I was so new to crafting. It was just one of those things. Yeah, these are a lot of purples and pinks. So this is right up my alley. They had a special 12 alcohol markers for $90, which would be $7.50 each. And... Um, it saves you shipping, you know, because you're there in person. You don't have to pay shipping. So I definitely picked out some colors that I've been hoping to get. So that was great. Um, Versafine Claire, they had all the different colors of Versafine Claire. And oddly enough, these are two colors that I didn't have because I have pretty much all the colors now. This is called Golden Meadow, which is like a greenish yellow. And this one's called pine cone. I mean, acorn. Sorry, this one's called acorn, which is the color of acorns. They only had a few re-inkers there, and I bought the last one that they had of warm breeze and twilight. So these are two colors that I use a lot in my design team projects, warm breeze and twilight. They're perfect for... Um, the ocean colors. Twilight is awesome for nighttime. 
Yeah, um, squirrels do like acorns, but Tracy doesn't like squirrels, so. <laughs> and then I got some undo. So I heard about this at the stamp show the first time I went. Um, there was a company there and they had it and they were talking about it and how wonderful it was. And I thought, well, I'm not gonna get that. I wanna buy stamps, I don't wanna buy undo. Well, little did I know, I should have grabbed it when I could have because when I went to buy it, it was not allowed to be shipped in the mail because it's flammable and it has like, you know, um, ingredients in it that are dangerous, I guess. Uh, so you have to be really careful when you use it, all right? Just be really careful. But it helps to take away like adhesive paper, tape, labels, gum, tar. It evaporates within minutes and leaves no stains or greasy mess. Um, keep away from heat, sparks, and flame. Do not swallow or inhale. If swallowed, do not induce vomiting and seek prompt medical attention. Keep out of reach of children. So obviously, be very, very careful, all right? Michelle Rainey, I wish you could have went. We would have loved to have met you. That would have been awesome. And then, she was so sweet. She um, is very interested in partnering us, partnering with us for Stamp Wars and Stamp With Me. And I know about the Stamping Up Squirrel set. I know all about it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's like Gooby Gone. That's what it is. The undo is like Gooby Gone. But anyways, she gave me two packs of paper. So this is the Blue Tonic Pearlescent cardstock which I think Stacy sent me a sample of this and I fell in love with it. Um, it's perfect for um, the colors that I like to do when I'm making design team projects, especially for like Fairy Stamper and things like that. And then I got a pack of the, it's called Water Sprite, but it's basically that holographic mirror cardstock. Woo woo, look at that. Look at your shine, 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 shine. Those five sheets in each pack. I love the tonic papers. I wish that I could buy all of them. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Okay. All right, next, we met um, Jillian Vance and her mom, which I didn't ask her mom what her name was, but um, she was super nice. They're from Mount Pleasant, Ohio, or maybe Mount Vernon, Ohio, one of those two places. Let me look here. Let me look here. I know it was Mount something, and I think it was Mount Pleasant, but I want to make sure I get it right. Mount Vernon, Ohio. Um, Jillian Vance Design, and her website is the letter A, JillianVanceDesign.com. Okay, this is her business card and the name of her stamp company. So what a cool company and what awesome products they had. They had really great sentiment stamps. They had beautiful dyes. Um, their whole display was gorgeous. Just the way that they had the colors of the black, white, and red. It was just so clean looking. I really thought that they put together a very nice booth. Um, they sold the... What are these called? Uh, stencil butter, Crafters Workshop Stencil Butters, all right? And I don't have any of these. I know Nancy has them and she loves them. And I got Ocean Blue and Turquoise. These are really great for oceans. And then of course I had to get Purple, which is called Orchid, and then I got Fuchsia. Oh. Hi, Bunny Vance. <laughs> Thank you for joining us tonight. Hi, Jillian. We're so excited to tell our subscribers about your wonderful company and the amazing products that you had. I wish that I could have bought more, but I do plan to buy more from you. Look at this. No, they, don't, they don't package their stamps in the 
cellophane, their stamps are packaged in a really cool Ziploc bag. So that's a plus because you can just go ahead and store that right in your stamp system. All right, and then this is the same stamp set that Nancy got. She and I are probably going to make some cards together, sort of like a duo live. And in case you missed Nancy's live, it's called Owl Occasions. So it's super punny sentiments around owls. And I looked at their website today and, and Jillian, they told us this when we met them in person. She's been working on, yeah, it's a great storage system, Bunny. They, she's been basically in this since she's 10 years old. Uh, she started with her grandmother and then she started designing her own stamps. Um, according to the website, what I read was she had um, many, you know, cute stamps, but not that many sentiments to go with it. And so one of the things that her um, original idea was to come up with sentiment stamps to go with the cute, all the cutesy stamp sets that are out there. And um, I thought that was a great idea, but she also has a lot of cute stamps too and beautiful dyes. I was like looking at all the crosses and I thought they would be so pretty for Easter. She has a beautiful butterfly dye. It's just gorgeous. But let me tell you some of these sentiments. It says, who's having a birthday? You're a hoot. I go ow. I'll go ow on a limb for you. That's cute. I'll be your friend. I'll be there. I'll be thinking of you. We had a fine owl time. Hope you are owl good. Everything will be owl right. I'll be praying for you. We're owl in this together. Thanks for owl you do. It's owl good from owl of us. I'll be seeing you. All you need is coffee. <laughs> I'll miss you. I give a hoot. And then hoot, hoot, hooray. All right, how fantastic, because even the companies that make stamp sets, they'll have like their critters, but you, you, you will be, um, it would be hard to find this many sentiments to match that stamp set to go with the stamp. So they might have one or two of these sentiments, but it's hard to find them all in one place, right? So if you're going to stamp away, Cheryl, you definitely want to look for them. I, I think they're going to be there. Um, I, like I said, I will be purchasing more from this company. I uh, definitely am very interested in the Christian themed cards, I mean stamps and dies that they had. I noticed that several of their light layouts seem to be, um, the type of layout that would go very well with Bible journaling. So for those of you who are interested in Bible journaling, it seemed like they had a lot to offer as far as that goes. Yeah, they have so much to offer, plus stencil butter. <laughs> so thank you so much, Jillian and Bunny, for jumping on my live tonight. I'm so glad that we met you. I think it was meant to be so that you could get to know about our group of um, fantastic subscribers who are the greatest um, support in the crafting community. We all support each other and we all uplift each other. And it's about like empowering each other to, you know, um, enjoy the art that comes with um, creating cards and to always be there for each other and you know give each other ideas but also to be um, kind to each other so I think that's one of the things that um, you know our group has been good about all right so yeah um, thank you so much for jumping on yeah it was so much fun talking to you both we had a great time and the stamp show was fun. It was small, but that's okay. That was all right. I mean, um, I think that the, I know the people who have attended stamp shows in the past have felt that 
you know, there, there wasn't enough vendors and there should have been more. But really, I mean, I mean, I'm thinking to myself, how much money can you possibly spend in one day, right? I mean, there's only so much to go around. So um, I liked it the way that it was. <laughs> I liked being able to talk to the people who were running the booths, the owners of the companies. I really enjoyed getting to know them, learning more about their products and supporting them because as Nancy has said before the idea is that these mom and pop and young ladies <laughs> like Jillian who are coming up in the community with this line of crafting but also the mom and pops who have been around for a long time just imagine how difficult it was for them during COVID you know they had spent so much of their life year after year um, getting um, to stamp shows and doing stamp shows. And then COVID came and they weren't able to do those types of things. However, um, we know that when we need something, those are the type of companies that we turn to. And the big box stores just don't have it. They don't have what we're looking for certainly don't have these unique things like this sentiment set um it's a you know small company and they're growing they're growing and it's definitely one to watch right and i uh, just encourage you to so check them out look and see if you see anything that catches your eyes and hopefully someday we'll be able to partner with jillian and do um, stamp wars or stamp with me you know in the future um, and hopefully you guys will be hearing more from them, right? Thank you so much. So much. So fun to meet you all. Okay. Once we visited Jillian Vance, we moved on to my craft room. They're based out of Michigan. Beverly Hills, Michigan. And what I purchased from them... So, my, I got a couple things from them. I did purchase the Pink Fresh Studios small butterflies, stamps, and stencils. I have the hot foil small butterflies. This is a system that they have where it all goes together. Um, the dye, they did not have the dye. I already had the hot foil. So really all I need yet is the dye. And then I'll have the entire uh, set with that. Oh, do you, Pam? You have the butterflies? Again, this has a hot foil plate um, with the butterflies. These are really popular right now. Like I said, I didn't buy this at the stamp show. I had purchased this previously. But I'm looking forward to doing a foiling video. And I have the large butterflies as well. As far as the hot foil plate, I have the large butterflies as well. So, we definitely will be doing some hot foiling in the future. So, be on the lookout for that, y'all, because we, we do like our hot foiling. I got this beautiful toner cards from Unity and uh, Deco Foil. It's called Majestic Moths. It looks like butterflies to me, although moths and butterflies, you know, have a similar look to them. I found that big moth on the tire of my car. I posted it on my Facebook page. So, so those are beautiful. All right. And then I also got some inkers. So re-inkers, the Alta New um, Gentleman's Gray, because there's this four inks that I have that are grays. And um, I do use them when I'm working with multi-layer stamps. Um, so kitchen sink stamps. Uh, so I, I invested in the re-inkers. That way I could continue to use those ink pads. So that's what I got from 
my craft room. Um, we, we were so excited to see Lynn from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. And she was so kind to um, give us a, a few stamps, which are fantastic, that were definitely on my wish list. Um, this is the Iwa Jiwa rubber, red rubber stamp. This one's called Silhouette Dolphins, and it also has a small and a medium set of dolphins. Tracy Fear, you know how much I love whales and dolphins, right? So this is uh, exciting for me, all right? And Iwo Jima means a lot to me because I'm from Somerset, Pennsylvania, and in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, one of the men who put the flag up is um, from Johnstown, Pennsylvania. He died during this battle of Iwo Jima, but he helped to raise the flag. His name was Michael Stang our Strang, Michael Strang, and uh, he was one of the Marines that was on Iwo Jima. Isn't that cool? They have a they have a memorial in Johnstown for him. Um, and he's, he, he's, he's an immigrant. He was born in, in Czechoslovakia, came to America when he was three years old with his family to work in the steel mills at um, Johnstown, Pennsylvania, which was where a lot of the immigrants came to work. So, yeah, so that Iwo Jima was definitely one that I wanted. Yeah, definitely. And then you saw Nancy had this one, the wolf and owl. Um, this one will be fun to play with because the tree can be by itself or you can have the wolf by itself. This is very versatile. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, Michelle, I'm a big history buff. You get me and my nephew together, and it's just like a walking, talking encyclopedia of history. <laughs> um, also, um, Nancy picked this one out too, the horse and sleigh. This will be perfect for Christmas. It has three different size of horse and sleigh. Just a classic Norman Rockwell style a silhouette that can be used with pattern paper. Could be, I mean, like if you would stamp it on black, use your scan and cut to cut it out, put it with pattern paper, or just have it on um, like a white paper with snow, or light blue paper with snow falling. That would be really pretty, I think, for, um, that'd be, oh, you know what? This has an owl in it, and we have owl sentiments, so we could match those together. Yay! I wasn't even thinking about that. And then you guys know I'm a sucker for silhouette scenes with trees. This one is called Silhouette Rocks and Trees. And this one is called Background Trees. <laughs> so I think I have my um, silhouette set settings covered now, right? I mean, seriously, these are amazing silhouette stamps, high quality red rubber stamps. Can't wait to play with these with pan pastels, with oxide inks, and I have an American flag stamp that I could pair this with, like the flag in the background. And then this, oh yeah, that's gonna look really nice. All the sunsets that can be created with this one. Whew. Nice. And then the final place we visited was, um, basically uh, sort of a multi-vendor kiosk area with lots of different um, stamp companies represented. But we, we went to Stampers Anonymous and I was able to get, um, well, Nancy purchased the prize ribbon, which is the new dis Distress Oxide, or the Distress in color. So that was very nice of her to purchase that for me. Um, so that is a pretty blue. And then I purchased milled lavender. Okay, I don't have this color. So we're going to swatch these. Milled lavender. Oh, that's a really pretty light purple. I like that. And I got the re-inkers to go with these. Uh, this one is called Victorian Velvet. 
if any of you have all of these colors or not. I don't have I don't have a full set of Distress Oxides. I don't really feel the need to have all of them. This is a real pretty velvet, like pink velvet color. This just reminds me of, well, like it says, Victorian velvet. It just reminds you of um, furniture back in the Victorian days. A lot of times it was made of velvet. Okay, and then this one's called Tattered Rose. And it's a real pretty peach color, light pink. I like that. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I did not have re-inkers for speckled egg or tumble glass, so I picked those up. And then I got re-inkers for the three Distress Oxides that I got, the ones I just showed you. And earlier I was watching Nancy, I had to watch Nancy's live uh, on replay because I was at work when she was on her live and she had said that one of the things that we did was um, we went together and um, when there was a there was a store a web-based um, stamp company and they had a sale on distress oxide reinkers so she and I kind of split it up. I bought some colors and she bought some colors. So we didn't have to each put um, all the money out for all the re-inkers. And so when she came to my house, she also re-inked all of my Distress Oxide ink pads, you guys. She is such a good friend. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> yep, she did. We'll get a better idea of the colors here and we will swatch them. Let's do that real quick and get a better idea for the colors. We've got these and we will compare them to similar Distress Oxides. All right, so I just have this stamp. It's a red stamp, red rubber stamp. We'll start with Milled Lavender. That goes right here. <laughs> yes, more trees and wildflowers, Michelle. You see them. You're right. Okay, this is milk lavender. That's a pretty color. And then I need to mark it. My key is I own it with a check mark, and the star means I have the re anchor. That's what Nancy taught me to do to have a system so that I know what I have. Whenever I go to see if I need any more and I know what I have and what I need. Okay, next we'll go with Tattered Rose. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, good job, Abraham. That's a great price. She is Meg. She's a smart, smart person and a great friend. That tattered rose is really pretty. That's very much like a peachy pink. See that? Hopefully it shows up on the camera. It's this one right here, tattered rose. It looks more beige to you all when you look at it, but um, it's actually peach to me. Okay, so let's clean it and then go, go to the key. This means I own it and this means I own the re -inker. And the final color, Victorian Velvet. It's like, I don't know, a mauve, mauve pink color. Yeah, it's definitely like a mauve color. Right here is the Victorian Velvet. Hi, Grandma Scrap Shack. Thanks for coming and checking out our live. So that's Victorian Velvet. Okay. Um, we've 
got that and that. Okay, and then we've already swatched prize ribbon. It's a lot like blueprint sketch, but not the same. Definitely not the same, but very similar. So this is the prize ribbon right here. Right here is prize ribbon. And this is blueprint sketch. And I can do that side by side. Let me grab my blueprint sketch. Which shouldn't be hard to do since Nancy swatched them for me and put little little uh, dots on the side so I know what color. Little polka dotted dots. Let me get this piece of scrap paper here. All right. First, we will do blueprint sketch, a beautiful color that reminds you of blueprint ink. How many of you remember mimeograph machines, right? That blue ink. Okay, that's blueprint sketch. ribbon. Yep, kind of purpley, yep. Okay, we'll put that one right here. Yep, they're definitely not the same color blue. Now that I see them side by side. I would definitely say the blueprint sketch has a little bit of a purple undertone where prize ribbon is more of the true blue color. So definitely, oops, sorry. I'm going off camera and I don't mean to, sorry. Prize ribbon has less of a purple to it. Um, how can I explain it? I would say prize ribbon is more of a muted blue and blueprint sketch is more of a vibrant blue. It's definitely a different hue. And I want to show you again how I store my ink daubers, my domed foamed blending tools. This is a trick I learned from Tracy Fear, Not Afraid of Color. If you are not subscribed to Tracy Fear's YouTube channel, you might want to check that out. She's got awesome ideas. I've learned so much from her. Um, but she stores her um, blending tools like this way. So, this is just a piece of wood panel like from um, Walmart or the Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I don't think the Dollar General has these, but um, the Dollar Tree definitely does. You can get them off of Amazon. And here we have a variety of colors and they are stored on Velcro. So this is Blueprint Sketch and I have it put on there with Velcro. So this is how I store them and that's something that Tracy taught me. So I got that idea from her. Certainly cannot claim it. Yeah, Chip Sapphire, I don't think I have that color, so I don't think I can demonstrate the difference between that one and Chip Sapphire. It's very close to, on the Distress Oxide chart, it's very close to Blueprint Sketch. It's also 
So it's between Faded Jeans and Blueprint Sketch. I do not have Chipped Sapphire, so I can't show you that. Yep. Okay, so T said she calls her Blueprint Sketch the same like as Bic Pen, and I would have to agree. It's definitely that kind of blue, like a blue ink in your pen. Yep, I would agree. So let's go ahead and blend some real quick while we have our daubers out. We might as well. Okay, let me grab a piece of hammer mill paper. Okay, for those of you who don't know, we get asked a lot about what kind of paper should we buy for ink blending? What's the best paper? Well, there are a lot of good papers out there for ink blending. Bristol Smooth is an excellent paper for ink blending. Bristol Smooth is expensive and you only get so many sheets. Um, we have discovered this Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy Cover paper is excellent for um, uh, ink blending and for hot foiling. It has a very smooth um, texture. It's very smooth. The texture is very smooth, so it's definitely going to be um, great for ink blending. So that's the paper. This is 80 pounds. Uh, you can also get 100 pounds, but um, for the most part, they're very similar. Um, they're not much of a weight difference. Sometimes I'll grab the 100 Sometimes I'll grab the 80, but for the most part, most people just get the 80, okay? So let's start with Blueprint Sketch. All right, let's go ahead and... Thanks, Nancy. This is our old friend Blueprint Sketch. Look how easy that is to blend on this paper. I'm not kidding, you guys. Of course, Nancy recently re-inked my blueprint sketch, so it's nice and juicy. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> Such a great helper. Okay, that's a beautiful blue color. Yep, I love it. Okay, I'm going to get a fresh dauber and we will try and look and see. Let's check out our new color prize ribbon. Yeah, Chow said she uses hammer mill for almost everything. It's great for alcohol, um, alcohol ink coloring. This is definitely not as juicy. I do have the refill for this. Thank you, Nancy. Um, I uh, just didn't get a chance to re-ink this yet. All right, so here they are side by side with a little bit of white in between. And that sort of gives you an idea. Uh, this one is Blueprint Sketch. And this is Prize Ribbon. Yep, I definitely see a little bit of purple in this color. And prize ribbon, no. I don't see any of the purplish blue, but in blueprint sketch, I see the purplish blue. All right. Well, thanks, Grandma Scrap Shack. Um, yeah. Yep, I can show you how to um, splatter it. Yes, definitely. Let me grab my let me grab my um, distress sprayer. This is just an ink. This is just water. Oh, I really, I really sprayed a lot on that one. Get a couple. 
Okay. All right, so. Give that a second to dry. Yeah, there you go. Gives you an idea of the undertones. Pretty, isn't it? I like it. Then again, I like blues and purples. So, yeah. Okay. All right, I want to show you the rest of my haul. I'm almost done with my um, demonstration here. I'm showing you what I got at the stamp show and I want to tell you some exciting news about something that transpired while we were there. Let me just wipe my craft mat off. Okay. Thanks, Jonna. I think it's pretty, too. Okay, T. I'll talk slow. Okay. This is a really cool die. It's from Sizzix, Tim Holtz. It's called Treeline. Okay, so I've actually seen Nancy... I've actually seen Nancy use this die with some of her projects and definitely think for Christmas it would be really great to have. Yeah, so you got a nice, nice tree line there. And there's probably squirrels in those trees, but we won't think about that right now. I don't like, I mean, they're just not my favorite animal, you know? I mean, I don't hate any animals, but squirrels are just definitely not my favorite, okay? <laughs> you probably, a lot of you probably have this dye. I think it's been out for a while, so I'm looking forward to using that. Okay. And then, oh, that's right, I have something from Versus to show you too. Okay, this is a stamp set called Wildflowers from Stampers Anonymous. We got to meet the owner of Stampers Anonymous and we got to talk to him and he shared with us the history of his company that has been owned since, you know, his grandfather was the owner of it. And basically it got started stamping, making rubber stamps for businesses. So for example, if you see a light bulb and a light bulb has the logo stamped on it or the name of the company, um, like General Electric or whatever, his grandfather was one of the, you know, biggest um, rubber stamp makers for companies. And as things changed and more and more companies went to electronic or whatever other ways of um, getting their products stamped, um, they transitioned to creating red rubber stamps for crafting. And um, his son was there. We got to meet his son and talk to him and his son at the same time. So it was certainly an honor and a privilege to speak to them both and learn more about their company and um, talk to them a little bit about the Foiling Snobs Club, talk to them about what we do with Stamp Wars, talk to them about what we do with Stamp With Me. And they were so supportive and had really, um, real excitement learning about our group and learning about what we do and definitely showed an interest in partnering with us in the future. So that is so exciting to think that, you know, this big company, Stampers Anonymous, you know, so closely affiliated with um, Tim Holtz, you know, has 
come along and said, you know, yes, we definitely want to be involved. Maybe, you know, next year we can work together at some point. So it's so exciting. Um, he was such a nice, funny guy. Very talkative. And so if you get the chance to go to the Stampers Anonymous booth, um, you know, just encourage you to support them. And they really did treat us well. They gave us a complimentary stamp set. So this was the one that I selected because I had my eye on it whenever we were looking through the booth. But then I thought, no, I'm not going to buy it. You know, I'm a sucker for silhouette trees and flowers, you guys. But I know I can make some beautiful cards with this. And um, I, I have some of the dyes that are foliage and stuff that are um, from Sizzix that I think will go really well with that. So, no, Tim Holtz wasn't there. I think he only goes to, like, the really big shows, like creative, creative, Creativation. Is that what it's called? It's like an industry show. So, you know how... All these companies out there in the world have their own conventions. There's a show called Creativation that's held normally, I think, January or February. Normally, it's held in Arizona, and it's only for the companies that are the manufacturers and very select social media people. We're talking like Jennifer McGuire, Christina Werner, um, you know, the really big heavy hitters are there. Um, that's where you'll see Tim Holtz demonstrating, right? So I don't even know what other ones he goes to. So another company that um, is part of Stampers Anonymous is called Northwoods Rubber Stamps. And they have these beautiful um, scenic stamps. And again, these are red rubber stamps. And, and Nancy explained their display booth was beautiful because not only did they stamp and color them, but they added glitter here and there just to make the whole card pop. And definitely, um, you know, fell in love with, okay, Gloria, that's awesome. So if you saw him at the Great Lakes Mega Meet, that's a probably, that's a probably pretty big show, I would guess, then, for Tim Holtz to come. But this is my prize for tonight. So I'm going to be giving away this stamp set. So it comes with this um, picture on the front. It's called Lighthouse and Walking Path. And it comes with, let's see, two large stamps, one round stamp, two sentiment stamps, and then one small stamp. Yep, and the name and the sentiments, which the sentiments are really nice, um, the one says, find a path in life and follow your heart. And the other says, when the storms of life come, adjust your sails. So I was really loving this because of the lighthouse. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I may have stamped it once or twice, but I haven't gotten a lot of use out of it. I bought this the first year that I went to the stamp show. And I thought this would make a really cool giveaway for tonight. So I'm going to um, pick a winner from the comments at the end of the live. So the video will end and then you'll be able to leave a comment. And I guess my comment, I would ask you to leave a comment uh, about, um, would you rather go to a cabin in the woods or a lighthouse on the beach? If you can answer that and leave your comment, then I will pick a winner um, from the people who leave comments on my channel. Do you think you're, you would rather go visit a lighthouse or go visit a cabin in the woods? I know what Gloria is going to say. She um, loves that lighthouse where she lives. Right, Gloria? Okay, I forgot to show you my couple that I got from Versus. So let's do that real quick and then I'll let you guys go. Alrighty, where did I put them? <laughs> It wouldn't be Tracy if I didn't lose something. Okay, I found it. It was a temporary quick. Um, if you want to wait until the live is over to leave your comment, please, that'd be great. So I'm going to pick the winner from when the live ends. Um, in the description box, you'll be able to leave your comment when the live is over. 
All right. All right, so I got three stamps from Versus. So Versus um, is part of Stampers Anonymous uh, company. All right, so let me explain how this works. Um, Stampers Anonymous, Art Gone Wild, Darcy's, Northwoods rubber stamps and Versus rubber stamps and Inky Antics are all part of um, the owner, um, the, the person who owns Stampers Anonymous. So um, all of those companies are sort of under his flagship. Uh, so he, we, that's who we met with. His name is Ted. So um, Ted um, has all of those um, really great companies under the flagship. They all have the um, same address, Cleveland, Ohio. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, so that's how we got to check out all these wonderful companies. So this stamp set I thought was great and it's gonna be fun for um, Snarky and also for the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop. <laughs> it says, if each day is a gift, I'd like to know where I can return Mondays. I thought that would be fun with a cup of coffee. I um, thought that would be really cute. Um, but that's a great sentiment, and I certainly felt that way when I woke up today. Can I please return Monday if each day is a gift? No, just kidding, right? And then this is a sympathy sentiment. It's called Thoughts and Prayers. By the way, again, these are red rubber stamps. And this one says... Though our words can do little, we hope our thoughts and prayers will support you at this time. So this is a real pretty sympathy stamp. I like the font, how it's a bold font. I really like that. Um, I think it'll be perfect on the inside of a card. So that's a good one. And then you guys know like hope is an important word to me. And whenever I see a stamp that says hope, definitely catches my eye and this one says wishing you strength for today and hope for tomorrow so this could be for a person who is you know facing an illness or it could be a person who um, maybe lost a loved one or just going through a challenging time so that's the versus rubber stamps so um, you can use this um, code which is good for um, stampersanonymous.com and it is um, taking 15% off your next purchase and that code is Pittsburgh SSAT that is the code for a discount yes thank you T this code expires on 8-1-2021. So they gave me that coupon. Yeah, I really like those Boost Gloria. I think they have a lot to offer. What a great line of companies um, to be affiliated with. So um, I'm excited they're interested in partnering with, with us for, you know, Stamp Wars and Stamp With Me. I think it's going to be awesome in 2022 uh, the connections that we made at the uh, stamp show were, were wonderful um, I didn't get to visit a couple of these booths just because um, time was up I had I mean they, it was three o'clock and they were kicking us out and I mean not like in a way that was like rude or anything but you know like hey we have a lot to pack up folks you know Please make your way to the exits. And of course, you know, we did, right? We wanted to respect them and not hang around any longer. Um, and um, so they have some shows coming up I want to tell you about. If you live near Hamburg, New York, there's one in August, which is the 28th and 29th of August. If you live near Westminster, Maryland, or anywhere near Maryland, Baltimore area, September 11th and 12th. 
in Southfield, Michigan, September 18th and 19th. Greenville, South Carolina, October 16th and 17th. And Hampton, Virginia, October 23rd and 24th. Yeah, everybody was so nice. And they were all saying goodbye to us when we walked out the door. It was just really fun. I was really excited to be there with Nancy. You know, um, it was great. It was just super great to be part of a team where we could each talk about Stamp Wars in our own words and share with these companies um, a little bit about our passion for having the Foiling Snobs Club, for having a group on Facebook where we can do card swaps and we can share pictures of our cards um, and we can talk about, you know, foil. <laughs> we can talk about ink. We can talk about things with each other. Um, in a place there's no judgment. Um, the um, Stamp Away Convention is in August, and that is in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'd love to go to this someday. Not this year. It's August 5th and 7th. Well, August 5th, 6th, and 7th, and the theme is Roaring Twenties, so that sounds like fun. It sounds like it's gigantic, too. Hi, Pam. It says, featuring classes taught by the country's best instructors, a Friday preview party, fundraisers, and an all-day Saturday rubber stamp convention and more. And so this one has a coupon code at the top. If you are interested in going to Stamp Away, it says, save 25% off Saturday admission. Use code STAMPAWAY25 at checkout. All right, so that is that one. All right, and the other one that Nancy talks about is called um, Heirloom Rubber Stamp Shows. And so um, going to that one over Halloween weekend, it's going to be in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So really close to where Nancy lives. And so I will be going there to see her and um, stay for the weekend and go to that stamp show. I'm really looking forward to it um, because Pat Huntoon from Technique Junkies will be there. I'm on the Technique Junkies design team and have never had the chance to meet Pat face to face. She was at this stamp show in Pittsburgh two years ago, but I don't remember meeting her. Um, I, I just, it was, it was a little bit larger. There were more um, demonstrate demonstrator booths. So I don't think I made it around to all of them. But um, I think going two days in a row is a good plan because the first day you get the layout of what's there. And then the second day you can go back and get your purchases and then you're, you know, you're set. Yes, that is wilted violet nail polish. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I think they had a food like they had one single food back in the back were like of the show um but that was two years ago this year we ate before we got there so i don't know if there was any food on site at the convention center maybe they have food hi yvonne maybe gloria can let us know if the mega show you know if there's food at those types of shows where there's larger uh, turnout. I'm not sure. Um, they don't have anything in the flyer, I don't think, about food. It doesn't say anything in here. I remember eating there two years ago because I didn't want to leave. I wanted to... Um, get all my shopping done and everything done. I mean, I, when I went two years ago on a Sunday, um, it opened at 10 and I was there at 10. So it was till three. So I had to eat lunch. I didn't want to leave and come back. There was some type of like cafeteria or some small little kiosk there that looked like it was part of the convention center that, um, 
Yeah, that would be fun if there was one at Seven Springs. I agree with you. That would be great. Okay. Oh, okay, super. Well, I hope you all get to go to one someday. It's definitely worth it. Um, I definitely uh, think that this being my second year, I think I got a lot more out of it. Definitely got a lot more out of it because of the uh, connections that we made um, while we were there with some of the owners of the stamp companies. Okay, well that's all I have for tonight. Does anybody have any questions? I need to go finish my card for the Mod Squad Challenge. That goes live on Wednesday morning. And I would encourage all of you to check out the Mod Squad Challenge on Wednesday morning. It is a blog and um, you can enter a card to be in the running for a $25 gift card from Kitchen Sink Stamps. So um, please check out the Mod Squad Challenge on Wednesday and don't forget to enter your card for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate. And don't forget, after the end of this video, once this video is done and it's posted to YouTube, go back and leave a comment and let me know, because I'm going to be giving this stamp set away, and let me know, do you like the lighthouse? Would you go visit the lighthouse or do you want to go to the cabin in the woods? What is your choice? That's what you need to leave a comment about and I will pick a winner and Thank you all for participating in the live. You've been a great group. I appreciate all of you tuning in and hope you have a great evening and a great rest of the week. Yes, it's open to U.S. residents only. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome, T. Thank you, T and Nancy and Chow and Stacy for admin doing the uh, moderating and and. Uh, being the uh, people who admin, <laughs> putting the links in so that you know where you can find these products. Good night, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.